Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. Today, um, I'm getting closer and closer to siding the outside of my building. And... Um, Basically, I ordered all my siding material recently. And one thing I realized is the outdoor barn door track on the front of my garage. I think I, I decided I needed to build a little, um, like a little shed roof over it. Now right here, you can see up there the barn door hardware. Let's get a closer look at it. So right here you can see the track and I've got a micro, a two by six micro lamb behind it. And what I, what I want to do is I want to build a profile piece across the top of this and then, and then plywood it and then and then tie back over the top of this and then put a piece of um, a piece of flashing, maybe the same color as the roof over this and cover that across this whole thing. So yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do is design something that'll fit this profile right here all the way to here and um, and cut these pieces out on my CNC machine. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're cutting some uh, we're cutting some blocks for this profile piece that I showed you earlier. So this is the garage door track that's on my my shop down there, and I'm getting ready to do the siding, uh, finish up the outside of the siding. And before I do, so basically this is on the outside of the building, and I have a two by six right here. So what I want to do is build some kind of protector shed across this. So what I've decided to do is to actually use um, micro lamb material because it has a lot of glue in it. It's pretty waterproof and um, I think it'll be strong and it'll last longer than regular lumber. Anyway, today what we're gonna do is figure out, we're gonna figure out if we can get two pieces out of one board and um, and cut all these pieces on the CNC machine. So um, right off the bat, I'm gonna figure out these dimensions and um, see if we can't make something. Okay, right off the bat, let me show you what I did here. I'm gonna click on this file that I saved. So basically what I did was I used, right up here, it says draw line, polyline. And I used this polyline to draw this shape. Now basically the, the bracket will sit right in here. It'll sit right there. And this thing will be on top of it. And anyway, let's uh, take this over to the tool path and I'll show you the tool path right here. We're using a white side C1072 straight bit to cut this. And it's a half inch diameter bit. We're gonna cut through the whole inch and three quarters. That's how thick these are. We're gonna put tabs. Right here, you see a tab there, a tab there, a tab there. We're going to put all these tabs in because we don't want this uh, material to go flying, especially as thick as it is. And um, yeah, right here, you can see the tool path. We'll go ahead and preview it. And there you can see it leaves pretty big tabs right there. And um, you can see this is a pretty deep cut. So yeah. Right here, you can see that little piece is um, for the the bracket, the top part of the bracket. And yeah, I left a lot of meat in here because basically I want to I want to plywood the top of this thing with some three quarter plywood. So I needed it to be pretty decent as far as uh, being rigid. Okay, let's go over the machine and start cutting these out. And we're gonna cut 15 blocks and then cut all these pieces out on the CNC machine. Right here, these bucks distracted me, and um, then I lost the rest of the video of cutting them out on the CNC machine. 
but I did cut 30 pieces and uh, yeah, that turned out pretty good. Right here, you can see I'm finishing up the last piece. I then take them over to the to the um, Jesm router and I router off the bottom tabs. Right here, you can see the piece fits really good. And yeah, turned out really nice. Looks like it's gonna fit really good. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal all these up just to give them a little added protection. I'm using some Zinzer uh, shellac to seal them and I seal all four sides. Next up, I test fit them and they turned out pretty good. Yeah, you can see right there, it fits pretty, pretty nice. The next thing I do, now right here is, this This turned out really well. I, I used some liquid nails, fuse it generously, and then I shot two stainless steel nails into the, the timber strand, and this held so good, I tried to pull it off the next day and I couldn't pull it off. And I have 30 of these to put on, so it's gonna take a little time. Up and down the ladder. I think the garage is actually turning out nice. It's a little slow going because I'm doing pretty much everything by myself. I think I had help during the raising of the walls and when I poured the slab, when the pump truck came, I had some concrete finishers help me with that. But right here, I'm using stainless steel nails and liquid fuse it and mounting all these on there. And I was surprised how good that fuse it um, stuck to the aluminum. It really did a good job. Up and down, up and down. Right here, I got a shot going with the drone and it's moving all around and it's not even windy. So I don't know, something must be wrong with my drone. I might need to um, recalibrate it or something. Right there, I shoot the last one in. And here's a pano shot of, of all the um, pieces put in. Yeah, it's looking good. See my big pile of rocks there. That's my homemade retaining wall. Right here's a pano shot. And yeah, next up it was time to put the plywood on. And I, I basically I mitered the plywood. I cut a 45 at the top of the plywood and the bottom so it'd be flush with the wall and also flush with my profile piece that I installed. And then I used ring shank nails and I shoot one into the top into the wall um, on top of the profile pieces. And then I come down about three inches and I shoot one into the, the timber strand. And that seemed to work really well. And once I, once I got all the ring shanks done on the top, I come back through and shoot a stainless steel finish nail in the bottom, not going through into the aluminum. I didn't want it to go into the aluminum. Yeah, this went really well. Actually, I, it was a fun project to do and I, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, up and down the ladder, not so much, but just, I enjoyed it doing something when it turns out good. I'm using a Senko nail gun. It's a newer one. Um, my last my last one was so old, it just wasn't shooting very good. So I just, I was gonna rebuild it, but it just didn't seem worth it. Right here, I finish up the plywood. I put all the Tyvek on and basically that was it. I stapled the Tyvek and taped all the seams and it was ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go, I do what I need to make it last. They say the good die.